What's up guys, it's iPhone Gaming here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on my bursting cube effect that I use for solar um, that I released a couple of weeks back. Now the clip looks like this. So as you see, it, she shoots and a load of cubes come bursting out like that and slowly fade away. Now these cubes can be replaced by particles like or triangles, circles, whatever, but for this tutorial I'm using cubes because my it was my initial idea. So what you want to do is you want to get your clip into a composition, I assume people are already doing this, or have already done that, uh, and you want to just get to where he shoots basically, you know, go finding your timeline where your guy shoots, so I've got that here, and what you want to do is you want to go to layer, new, solid, and you'll call this particles. I'm a very organised guy, I like to name my layers as you can see here, nice and organised. I wouldn't do is where he shoots you want to kind of stop start the solid so you can either do this by pressing alt begin bracket nope sorry control what it's not working yeah what, what? So you can either press alt begin bracket the square ones or you can just drag it in like this either way whatever uh, whatever way you like doing now what you want to do is you want to drag on CC particle world which is here in effects and presets. If you don't have this tab, uh, you just go to window effects and presets and just type in CC particle world. As you can see, it's there. So now that we've got it here and you dragged it onto your clip, onto your solid, sorry, uh, what you want to do is you want to go to grids and guides. We're going to turn off all these grids, turn off position, radius, motion path, horizon, and axis box. So now we just have the particles. Great. Now what we want to do is you want to go to physics and turn the velocity down to zero. This, nope, sorry, don't do that. Turn the gravity down to zero. This means the particles will be coming towards us instead of going down. Likewise, if you turn the gravity to minus or negative, they go up. Whatever, you know. But we're turning it to zero, so they come towards us. Now what we want to do is we want to change our particles. So we'll go to particle particle type and for this tutorial like I said I'm going to use cube here we go loads of pre cubes now this is all kind of customizable bit you know I'm changing my birth color and death color white and black because it fits my CC you know that's the way I roll <laughs> now when it comes to birth size and death size I, I tend to keep them the same I mean you can change them but it, it kind of it kind of looked better the same so I'm going to turn them 0 0.2 which looks nice like that and that's basically all we need to do here under particle now we'll go to physics and turn the velocity up so this means the particles are more spread out you know we have less of them compact in a small space it's a bit nicer so I'm going to turn it down to about two so after doing all that we have just cubes randomly coming out at us you know, pretty cubes but now we're going to animate them coming towards us on the screen so how this works is it's the birth rate what we're going to do is on the start of our solid we're going to see here birth rate we're going to click keyframe on the little stopwatch go forward a couple of seconds and click zero type in zero and if we press U you can see our keyframe so and as you see as the clip goes on the, the cubes slowly die out they die out a bit slow though for me so what I'll do is I'll turn the long of it E down to 0 0.5 and that means they're they're out quick, they're out of the way quicker so there you go, that's that's the end of the tutorial, no it's not um, it could be the end of the tutorial, but it doesn't look too good, it doesn't look like the cubes are coming out as fast enough so what I like to do is I like to click on the keyboard press S for scale and at the beginning of your clip go down to 0 type in 0 they're gone. We click the stopwatch, press U on our keyboard, go to where we set our other keyframe, and we'll go on 